The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, the author of Mastering Probability, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters out there. Welcome to the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and thanks so much for joining me, folks. I absolutely love being here with you. Hopefully, you're off to a great start of your Thursday. It is terrific Thursday. It's also PGA Thursday. You know that uh, shot that uh, that we play of uh, Tiger Woods on hole number 16 at Augusta? Might have to uh, change that uh, shot out for the uh, shot he hit last week at the Memorial at Georgia, at uh, Georgia's, at uh, uh, at uh, Jack Nicholas's uh, tournament. But they are uh, off of the uh, first tee this morning at the uh, FedEx St. Jude Classic. And it uh, looks like uh, I already got, uh, to, I think it's Tom Ganey. Three under par after three holes. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll set a new course record today out there. But uh, apparently conditions are good. I'm hearing a little bit of an echo here, Al. I don't know about uh, you on your side. And uh, uh, so, folks, you had the uh, markets actually take off to the uh, moon a little bit yesterday. You had the Dow finish up 286 points. S&P's up 29. Composite up 66. Uh, small caps up 19. And, uh, you know, folks... Uh, uh, right now, you got the uh, futures are up, and we're going to take a look at the future. We're going to take a look at anything that you want. You can always give us a call, 877-927-6648. And uh, sports-wise, the L.A. Kings didn't do it. They uh, finally lost a, a game, so the uh, Cup goes back to uh, New Jersey on Saturday. I don't know what time that game is. I'm going to have to look that up, but I know I'll be watching uh, that game uh, live. And... Uh, and you can always watch us live, speaking of watching live, on Tiger TV. And for everybody listening on the radio, absolutely, we do appreciate that. You can always catch this show live. Go to the homepage at TFNN.com and uh, click on the uh, Tiger TV button. You'll see us live. You can always bookmark that on your device. As long as you're over at the homepage at TFNN.com, why don't you sign up for our Great Panther Silver Giveaway. We're giving away one ounce of silver each day, each trading session in the uh, month of June. And it's a very easy thing to do. It'll take you about 30 uh, seconds to uh, complete, maybe 60 seconds to complete the uh, page. And you've entered yourself into the uh, silver giveaway. And as long as you're over there, also and have had uh, just tremendous. I do want to say thank you to each of you that have ordered the uh, special report that I put together to help you really understand a, a long-term uh, a, ma a method of being able to manage your funds, whether it's for yourself, whether it's for your uh, children. I'm really talking about those 401ks, especially those uh, non-self-directed 401k accounts that so many of you have out there in a way for you to be able to identify whether you should or shouldn't be in the market the most objective way possible so that you can pull those triggers. So let's go take a look at the uh, market, see what it is that we have going on out here right now. What I have up on my screen is the uh, ES Mini. This is the uh, futures contract for the S&P 500 right now, trading out at 1318.75. That is up about uh, nine nine and three quarters points, so seven tenths of a uh, percent out there. Now, what you're taking a look at here is uh, what I've drawn in is a, a trend line. I'll go ahead and blow this up on the uh, screen for you. Drawn in a uh, trend line from the uh, th from the high out here that was created on May first. So May Day, you know, the last high that was out there in the uh, markets wasn't the high of the ES mini. That high came in back in April. April uh, I'm sorry, March, March twenty seventh, up at the uh, fourteen nineteen seventy five area. So we just take a look at that trend line. What you will notice is that the uh, trend line has been broken. Now, what you from a bullish standpoint, I give you the bullish and the bear side uh, because you know I talked a little bit about adaptability yesterday when I did. Uh, Tom's show might have been from the 5 to 6 o'clock. I can't recall if that was the 5 to 6 or if that was in, uh, the, the 4 to uh, 5 uh, hour. But it really talked about adaptability. And adaptability is so key to your ability to be able to uh, trade these markets. Now, it depends what perspective you have, but you still have to be adaptable. You know, the special report that I did that gives, takes a look at some moving averages and a way to be able to uh, change and go in and out of the market, you know, you need to just simply be able to adapt to that. When you trade the market on a more intermediate term or a more shorter term basis, uh, you know, you need to be able to check your opinion at the door. You need to be able to check the news at the door, and you just simply want to watch the charts. At least that is my opinion. You want to be able to look for different patterns that are out there, and you're looking for clues. We're always, that's why we're treasure hunters. 
We're always looking for clues. We're always looking for the next trade that's out there. In fact, that's how you grow your business when you think about it. You know, you become a treasure hunter. In business, it's typically about finding new customers, or maybe it's creating new product lines, or maybe, you know, it's some element along those lines. If you are a trader or investor and you have capital that's parked out uh, on the uh, sidelines, even if you have capital at work, you know, this is just like simply if you owned a baseball team. You know, you could be the George Brenner, you know, bless his heart, uh, but uh, you could be the uh, George uh, Brenner or who, uh, not George Brenner, that's a, uh, who, who am I thinking of? George, uh, geez, how did I have a, a brain uh, brain contusion like that? George Steinbrenner, there we go. Uh, and uh, and when I'm, what I really mean about that, folks, is you got to take a look at all your investments as being nothing more than players on the field. And you know what uh, good managers or good uh, general managers will do is they'll simply trade out their bad players for a better player. So being a treasure hunter is really all about being able to find the next best setup out there, and you've got to be able to be adapt. You've got to adapt to changing conditions in the market. Just like if you're out on the ocean or you're out on the lake and the winds are going to change, you have to be adaptable to being able to set your sail. Now, in this case here, if we take a look at the uh, adaptability of the changes in the uh, direction in the market right now, that direction of the market clearly to the upside, if we take a look at the uh, trend line of the ES Mini, we're looking at the futures contract. That way you know what's going on right now in the uh, pre-market before the uh, U.S. Uh, cash markets here will open up. And so you can see you've broken through that uh, trend line. And you can see that in the, we'll turn over to the NASDAQ as well, uh, futures, you can take a look at that on any of the ETFs that maybe you trade, or maybe it's anything that you trade. You know, I'd suggest that you draw that type of a, a trend line in there to understand when you're going to run into resistance, because this morning early on, maybe about 7.15 uh, or so, you know, I had the uh, buckle your seatbelts on because the uh, market was running into resistance, and then I believe it was the uh, ECB, or no, it was one of the, uh, one of the central banks, uh, uh, you know, was not going to increase their interest rates. You know, they were going to leave them unchanged. They were set at about a half a percent or what have you. And we saw some real volume come into the uh, ES mini contract. In fact, if I switch over to the 30-minute contract, we'll see that right here. That uh, was between the 7 and 7.30 time frame. And what you saw was uh, 11,380 contracts during that 30-minute session. So you had some pretty big uh, volume come in there. Now, what you're also taking a look at here on the uh, daily chart, and a reason to believe that we are running into a little bit of turbulence here is if you take a look at two of the AB equal CD patterns that are out there, you're going to see that uh, this morning at 7.30, what the ES Mini was doing was having good old American apple pie. What do I mean by that? Well, you were doing a 1 to 3.1415, whatever the number for pie is, A to B equals CD expansion. That was a completion at the 1319 and change area. You're trading right now at 1320. What you also had was you had an ABC within an ABC out there, uh, a one to one completed at the 13. 13 area. So what does that say? It says, you know, you've got this volume out here. We should see the area of 1309.50. That's low at 7 o'clock. That should hold as uh, a support level uh, for the day. If that area uh, does not hold, the next area that you're looking at is really the 1308. So we're taking a look at 13, and, and really I'm, what I'm doing, folks, is I'm coming back to 4 o'clock yesterday into the close when the market went up from a low of 1300 to the uh, 1308 area. Now, if you just simply take a look at uh, uh, retracement levels from bottom to top, what you're looking at from all the way from the bottom starting at about 730 on Sunday evening all the way up to the high that was put in at 730, the .382 area takes you to 1296. So, you know, I guess another possibility, but taking a look at the volume that came in, quite frankly, at 730, we ought to see the area of 1309.50 hold as a support level out there. So you got to be, you know, got to understand that the winds could change at any time and you want to be able to adapt uh, through that. Now, let's go take a look here at the uh, NASDAQ futures. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, uh, that uh, chart as well. We'll take a look at that trend line here. And if we do that, okay, let's pull this up. Let's go ahead and draw that in for all of you home gamers. So we're going to take a look at the uh, trend line starting off here, in this case, on May the 1st as well. And I'm about, probably going to take a look at that trend line just simply from uh, two trading sessions later. Let me just extend this out so we can see where the uh, NASDAQ futures are with regard to their trend line. So take a look at the NASDAQ futures here running right into that area of, of uh, resistance right now. Right now as we speak with the uh, NASDAQ up at the 2560 mark.
Uh, so that is on that. Let's go take a look at the uh, Russell futures here real quickly so that we round this out. And if we take a look at the continuous contract on the Russells, we'll do the exact same thing. I'm going to start here at the uh, May 1st date. And I'm going to just, uh, so you can see the Russell futures, just like the ES Mini having punched through. Whoops, didn't mean to do that for you. Let me redraw that. Having punched through uh, the uh, first uh, area of uh, resistance, doing that this morning as well, probably at about 7.30. And so what you'd want to do is, you know, would be no problem for it to come back and test that area and then continue to move higher. Uh, where is the uh, Russell 2000 headed to? Uh, most likely headed to those March 6 lows, which are 8, uh, I'm sorry, the March 6 low, 783.70. And as well, you've got the April 10th low at uh, 780. So that's where it's headed to. It's at 769.40 uh, right now. That's the next area uh, as it breaks through this uh, trend line. That's going to be your next area of resistance out there. Uh, if we uh, go take a, a quick peek around the world, right now you've got the uh, DAX up almost 2%. Uh, so the DAX is up 1.8%. We'll flip over to that chart here. Uh, post haste, you've got the uh, FTSE up 1.8% as well. The Nikkei was up one and a quarter percent last night. You had the uh, Hang Seng up uh, eight tenths of a percent. Shanghai off seven tenths of a percent last night. Uh, the IBEX in uh, Spain up uh, nine tenths of a percent uh, right now as well. So let's switch over quickly if I can find this chart. Okay, let's go take a look at the DAX. See what the DAX is doing. Well, the FTSE popped up on my screen here. You can see the FTSE trading at the highs of its session right now. So let's go uh, clear off the uh, deck here on the FTSE. Let's see what the uh, FTSE is doing. Actually, if we just simply take a look at the uh, trend line on the uh, FTSE, I wonder there'd be probably, let's see here. Well, you can see just simply that small trend line right there, how the FTSE blew through that this morning as well. 877-927-6648. Dow Futures up about 76. ES Mini up 10. Give us a call, folks. We'll be right back. Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you gain access to each host charts and computer screen as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, Dave White, Larry Pesavento, or Victor Jones, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV yet, then visit TFNN.com today to see what you're missing. Stock market corrections are the number one reason that a buy-and-hold investment strategy produces the poorest results, and I have 73 years of data that proves it. Now, the good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time period has been spent in recession. And if you're one of the 70% of American households relying on their 401ks and IRAs for retirement, you need the single strategy that is bulletproof against the turmoil of our stock markets. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com under Breaking News, click on Success is a Numbers Game to receive this must-have free report. This bulletproof strategy may be days away from giving the next signal. Don't neglect your retirement, and don't neglect this signal. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then go to TFN.com to order your free copy of Success is a Numbers Game today. Implement the disciplines contained in this report, and success will be yours for the taking. 
Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. It's that time of year again, and the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway is back. Every day in June, Monday through Friday, we'll be giving away a Great Panther Silver 1-ounce silver bar, and all you have to do to enter is visit the front page of TFNN.com and fill out your entry. Great Panther Silver and TFNN wishing you a great start to the summer. Sign up today to have a chance to win a one-ounce silver bar during the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway the whole month of June at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go uh, take a look at some of the uh, stocks popping and uh, dropping in the uh, pre-market. Uh, you had some uh, earnings releases both uh, after the bell and before the uh, after the bell last night, before the bell this morning. So let's go take a look at what is uh, dropping to the downside uh, first. We're going to look at Men's Warehouse. Uh, MW is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, that is, uh, they closed last night at 35.57. Uh, uh, last trade, 2,000 shares firing off at 29.15. Uh, and uh, their problem was, uh, I believe, uh, as I recall from last night, their uh, revenue is very flat, $586 million versus 580 from a year ago. Their net income also flat to $26.9 million versus $27.4. And the uh, market is, uh, the stock is dropping right down to the last high volume uh, breakout area. That high volume, so $29.00. Uh, even is what the last trade just fired off at. And if you go take a look at uh, the December 7th area is going to be attacked this morning at the open. Uh, the low there is 29.60. That's December the 7th. Uh, expect that uh, gap to uh, get closed. And we'll see what kind of air comes out of the uh, balloon here. Uh, this thing has had uh, some nice support in that $29 area. You're going to see two signs of two signs of strength, one going back to May 5th. Uh, when it uh, the low was 29.89, that was the low of the gap up. The prior session actually closed at uh, 27.94. Uh, you then had another sign of strength. Again, that was the one coming in on December 7th. So those areas are going to be attacked. You had 4.3 million shares uh, when the market opens. We'll go take a look at that and see how that's going to trade. But it's why you always want to understand where the volume bars are on any chart you're trading. Because when something falls out of bed, you want to understand where it's going to fall to. And I guarantee if you go back and you take a look at the uh, volume bars, on your uh, stock charts. That's where it is headed. Uh, let's go take a look at Lululemon, uh, also out with uh, numbers. If we take a look at what, uh, let me find the uh, symbol, L-U-L-U is the uh, stock symbol. And uh, they closed at 70.02 last night, trading out at 64.56. So they're down about 8% uh, percent right now. Uh, if we take a look at what uh, their earnings were, net revenue, uh, 1.32 billion versus 1.34. Well, that's not so good, especially for one of these high flyers out here. Uh, comparable same store sales up 25%. Well, then something didn't make sense there in that kind of math. Uh, must have had a lot of returns if they were going to have uh, simple. So let's take a look at the revenues. Okay, revenues, gross revenues. That's pretty wild. Net revenues come in about the same. So their gross revenues, 285 million versus 186. That is very interesting. I lost the uh, spot where I had on that. But let's go take a look at the uh, stock. L-U-L-U -L -U again is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's see where that is going to trade to. Again, the last trade firing off at 64.53. Nothing uh, large in the way of uh, blocks out there. What do you have at 64.53? Well, 
Uh, let's go take a look at the last volume bar, last breakout. Well, last breakout, uh, folks, is on January 10th on Lululemon. Not exactly huge volume out there, 13 uh, million shares on that uh, break for the uh, day. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, that's where it's headed to. The high on that is 62 and a quarter. The low is 59.15. And uh, what Lululemon is certainly going to do today is confirm an ABC down. That A point uh, was the highs put in on May 3rd up at the 8109 level. The B point is the uh, May 21st area, 6601. The uh, C point is uh, May 29th. So we know we're going to break that on price. I'm sure that we're going to break that on volume. Uh, what is that going to set up as a uh, area for Lululemon? You're going to want to watch uh, where this thing is. There's an exact 0.618 retracement. you got to love that. 74.59 was the actual 0.618 uh, retracement off that A to B leg. And where does it get to? It gets to uh, 74.63. How does that work? Sweet 618. Just like sweet Georgia Brown. So I would imagine that what you'll see with Lululemon, you will see a close of that gap. So that means that it should trade uh, down into the 5408 area. You're going to want to watch volume. You also have a nice volume bar here on Lululemon on December the 1st. Uh, 29 million shares, high of 4776. See if there's anything else. So that's really the that's really where I think Lululemon, you'll find out whether or not you've got support on this thing, is right there at the uh, December 1st area. Going to be important to watch this. You know, this has been an IBD high flyer out there. Uh, if we take a look at the real quickly here, what else is popping and dropping? you got Navistar down about 21% uh, NAV, their ticker symbol. you got uh, Converse Technologies. That's probably the shoe company, I'm going to guess. 10% uh, lower CMVT, Palcorp, PLL, down 4%. Popping, you got Streamline Health Solutions up 7%. Uh, you have Americo, UHAL, up 7%, uh, uh, 8% right now. Uh, Bio Reference up uh, 5%. Isla Capri Casinos, they're up 6% in the pre-market. Pep Boys, PBY, up only about uh, 2%. Smuckers, Smuckers is out there. SJM, they're up 7 tenths of a percent. We'll be right back, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits ranged from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, an $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations, including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, 
along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. You got the Dow up 130 points. S&P's up 13. Composite up 25. Small caps up 10. And I'll have another one. Is that the name of the uh, horse that is in there for the uh, Triple Crown? Uh, that is on uh, Saturday as well. Hopefully that's not now. That usually that race would go off probably about 6 o'clock. So that probably should not interfere with uh, watching the uh, hockey game. Don't know what time that is on. That is going to be the New York Rangers against the uh, Los Angeles uh, Kings. Would have liked to have seen the Kings win the uh, cup in their own, uh, in their own uh, stadium. And, uh, uh, of course, they have got an incredible road record. So uh, the uh, Devils have got their work cut out for them uh, for sure on Saturday. Now, folks, I'm going to, you know, I, talk, I talked uh, earlier about, talked last night, about certainly being adaptable. And, uh, you know, and the adaptability is about being able to understand what kind of trend changes there might be out there, what kind of bounces. We certainly have a nice bounce uh, underway here, and I'll show you a trade that my clients and I got into, just so you can get an idea for the uh, for the analysis here. And the uh, trade was really in the materials sector. Now, how I uh, determine that we we're going to get into that trade is one of the things that I use as a tool is the uh, McClellan Summation Index, and uh, I take a look at it in each of the sectors with inside the S and P 500. Now, it's a real short term uh, indicator, but it can lead to longer term trade. So it's really an excellent tool. Uh, that is out there. And as I had taken a look at all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 a couple of days ago, uh, a couple of evenings ago, uh, what I uh, noticed was that the material sector was the uh, first one that had turned up. Now, when you're taking a look at this chart here on Tiger TV, what you are seeing is you're seeing a 1.272 butterfly pattern that completed around the 3750 area. And you can see that price held uh, in that area for quite some time. In fact, it held all the way uh, the first time it got there was in January, middle of uh, end of January 2012, and it held into that area going all the way into April, simply just simply trading sideways. At least now we've got a market that's doing more than trading sideways, down and up, down and up, and so that is a, a beautiful thing. And uh, so when we took a look at now, what I was going to show you here is if you just simply go from the uh, A to the D point, what you're normally looking for is one of those wonderful summation index numbers. And if you take a look at that, the actual 0.61 or 0.786 comes out to 3281. And where does the uh, XL, by the way, the material sector is the XLB, if you were wondering, where does it actually retrace back to on May 18th? It gets down to 3265. Uh, uh, and then... The beautiful thing on June 4th. So it was, uh, uh Friday, June, uh, Monday, June 4th. I'm sorry. Monday, June 4th, coming into the wonderful full moon that we had. Uh, you had a trade as low as 3259. But when it did that, what it did was it created one of Steve's 
hammer candles. And it created that hammer candle. We got a nice confirmation on the uh, following session coming into the close on June the uh, 5th. And so the choice was going ahead and uh, taking a look at uh, playing uh, this, uh, the actual uh, ETF, or maybe I think there's a, a double or a triple out there uh, to play this. Or what you can do is, especially in a market like this, you know you're better off being in a stock picker's market. And uh, so I just simply went into the XLB and took a look for the best chart setup that I could find. And what was it that I found? I found one of Rick in Columbia's favorite stocks. That is Mosaic, M-O-S, uh, which is probably about, you know, I don't know what, what, what holding it is as far as uh, percentage. It's in the top 10. I just don't recall if it's in the top five or not. But as a percentage of the XLB, it's in that uh, top 10 area. And what was Mosaic doing, folks? Well, Mosaic uh, was also, you know, a beautiful uh, setup here. And what do I mean by that? Well, it pulled all the way back to the October 4th low. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the line across the uh, bottom here, October 4th. And you take a look at the, I'll also put the uh, volume uh, line down here so you can see what, in fact, Mosaic was doing as it was coming down and testing that area. So the low on October 4th is uh, 44.86. And the uh, volume that you did on October 4th, we know that was a big day uh, in the uh, market as far as a uh, push down and a reversal uh, point, 15.7 million shares. Uh, the the uh, June 4th, Monday, was the first time that it tested that area. Tested on 4.5 million. So again, 4.5 million, closed above it, rejected that lower price, 4.5, going against 15.7. That, folks, is a beautiful thing. That's what you're looking for. And, you know, right now, what I'm looking for this to do is get up on the top side of that October 4th area, that being 49.23, you're at 48.90 uh, right now. So it's coming up against that area of a little bit of resistance. It's also coming into the swing point of May 29th, the most recent swing point that has 3.3 million shares. So it's trading up 93 cents today. Looks like we have ourselves a nice little wiener out there. And, uh, folks, if you'd like to... Uh, you check out my uh, newsletter service, you can do that. 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Just go to the homepage at tfnn.com, click on my name, and uh, all the details will be uh, right there for you. So that's how, that's at least how I set up a, a trade, and it's how I think you should set up a trade as well. Uh, if we uh, take a look at uh, what else is uh, going on and popping and dropping, you got Priceline. Priceline has uh, been a, a little bit of a, a rocket ship. Of course, dollar leader on the way up. Let's go take a look at PCLN again. They're up $13 and change right now. So uh, they are the leader, and they're gapping up uh, this morning. They gapped up this morning. Uh, let's take a look at what it's trying to do. It's trying to take on its uh, C uh, point. Uh, it's trading inside that area. Uh, that C point right now, swing point being May 22nd, which had 1.3 million shares. Uh, the low of that is six. 55.74, you're at 655.76. So what kind of volume is it going to need today? More than 1.3 million shares. What did it do yesterday? Yesterday did 1.1 million shares. So off to a good start so far uh, this morning, 134,000 shares in the uh, first 10 minutes of trading. That is on Priceline. Let's go take a look at Google. Haven't looked at Google in what seems like uh, forever, although it hasn't been forever. Uh, Google trading up uh, eight-tenths of a percent right now, up five bucks. Uh, it, too, looks like it may have gapped uh, just a little bit this morning. Uh, it did gap up the close yesterday, or the high of yesterday's trading session, being 581.97, the low so far today, 583.51. So where would uh, Google be headed to? Google would be headed to, well, it's got, uh, it's got, it's got some real resistance right here in the uh, 596.70 area. So it's got a little bit of ways to go there, but that's where it's going to run into some pretty stiff uh, resistance. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, what else is. We got Baidu popping out there. So let's go take a look at uh, Baidu. B I D U is the uh, ticker symbol on that. Baidu trading up right now, four dollars and a quarter. That's up three and a half percent. So Baidu gapping up uh, this morning. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff that is out here. So Baidu makes it looks like an A B C D down here. Completes that. Here's the. Uh, I'm going to use the A point as uh, April sixteenth high. At 152.85, you could go further off to the left where it makes a little bit higher high as well. I'm just going to make this kind of clean here. And so you can see it completes a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. And what it does do on uh, June the 4th on 
Monday is it gives you a bullish engulfing candle. You get a nice confirmation on the uh, following candle, and now it's going to do a retracement. Well, there's a couple different retracements that you'd look at. You'd come off of the A point all the way down to low on June 4th. So that first area, dead cat bounce, 127.91. You're trading at 123.49. That's where Baidu wants to first head to. If we take a look at the second leg here, that would be off of this C point on May 1st, the high of 135.74, also down to the June 4th area. And let me see if I've got a different color out here that I can put up there for you. There we go. So now we got a little black and red. Put it on black or red, folks. No. Uh, and if you take a look at the uh, .618 of that last leg down, what you're going to see, 126.86 uh, or so. So you got the .618 area coming together right there at that dead cat bounce, that .382. Uh, that is where you're going to be looking for Baidu to give you information about where it wants to go. But it should run into that area, and I would expect it to uh, back off. Uh, once it uh, gets up there. So that is, uh, you got Apple now. Let's go take a look at Apple. Apple up a seven tenths of a percent, up four bucks. AAPL is the uh, ticker symbol there. They trade out at 575.97. And uh, so Apple now taking on the May 31st swing point. Uh, that swing point has 17 million shares. You got into it yesterday. So 17 million shares yesterday does uh, 14 million shares. Apple's going to need some more energy here. Now, what Apple is trying to do is trying to do an A to B equals CD up. And so it's now taking on the B point, happens to be this May 31st area. So let's go take a look. Let's clear the deck here on Apple. Let's draw some uh, patterns. And so you're going to be looking for Apple to release some absolute information to you this morning. Why? Because we know the ES Mini was serving us apple pie at about 7.30. So now we need Apple to see if it wants to truly serve it up. And that means you're looking for Apple to uh, get above the May 31st high, 581.50. And you want to see it do it with more than 17 million shares in order for this, in order for this bounce to be more than a, a two-day Stevie Wonder. And uh, so you've got Apple. Now, Apple doesn't necessarily have to do it today. You don't want to see Apple get above 581.50 and close back below it on less than 17 million shares. Uh, and uh, it is trading inside that swing point right now, the low of 571.46. So uh, we'll, pay, we'll take a look at uh, Apple uh, for sure uh, during the uh, Money Masters the show. And you'll want to be able to pay attention to it during the day. Use that as one of your uh, benchmarks out there. I uh, have a, looks like a request here to look at TLT. Uh, so we can take a look at TLT. That is the uh, bond trade for the 20 year. And let's just see here if I can find my little chart. A little blurry die. It was up a little bit late last night. Wasn't an overtime game, so that's nice. So you got the uh, 30 year bond here uh, pulling back uh, nicely, pulling back, quite frankly, on light volume. Uh, so that says that there is still more upside potential in the uh, bond trade up here. If we take a look at the uh, pullback, I'm just simply going to go take a look. We'll go over to the TLT in just a moment, but let's just look at the last leg up from April 25th uh, when the uh, bonds were trading to low of 141.03 all the way up to the high put in on June 4th. And so what you can see here right now is the uh, bonds trading right to that dead cat area, that uh, 0.382 uh, which is 148 and uh, change. So uh, from a bullish standpoint, what you're going to want to uh, do is you're going to want to see uh, bonds trade lower than that, just doing a dead cap bounce off the less leg. Uh, now, what I'll also do, just like we did as we were taking a look at, uh, might have been Baidu, I can't recall, or maybe it was Google, but I'm going to also take the retracement off of the uh, low going back to March 19, 2012, up to the high. We'll go ahead and change the color on that just so it's a little bit easier to see the two areas coming together. Okay, so what we're really looking at is you're looking at the 30-year uh, Treasury uh, perhaps pulling back into the uh, 145 and change area. You're at 148 right now. Uh, what that would do is that would truly be the dead cat bounce of the entire move up and it would be the 0.618 area of the uh, last leg up. It probably is going to also be an expansion of swing points. That uh, set of swing points, I would probably just start with, uh, looks like maybe May 29th. So just for the heck of it, let's do that. Let's throw a couple more lines in there. So May 29th high all the way up there, and uh, sure enough, it does. How does that work? How did Stevie Boy know that? 
Now, if I go ahead and explode this up here, so at that 145 area, you've got some very significant support because I'm just simply taking a look at two retracement areas, the 618 and the .382 coming together in that 145. And if we take a look at expansion of swing points, that expansion of swing points, the 1.272 area also coming in in the 145 spot. You may not be able to see it that uh, clearly on my screen here, but uh, just take my word for it. Let me do the work for you. Uh, now, let's go pull up the TBT and let's see what uh, that is uh, looking like. I don't know if uh, this uh, individual is in, out, looking to get in. Uh, if you're looking to get in, you want to correlate it to the bond trade. But let's try to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all the lines on the uh, chart. So let's start from uh, scratch. We're going to start from the low of March 19th on the uh, TBT when it was trading out at the 109.69 level. So we'll go from the low up to the high that was uh, put in here on uh, the uh, 1st of June. Uh, TLT got up to 130.38. Let me just refresh my screen, make sure I've got the current uh, data set out here. It looks like I do. Okay, so right now you've got the TLT trading out at 124.88. Wants to head to the 122.48 area. Let's take a look at really the next set of uh, swing points kind of out there. I would say I'd come right in here. Let's see here. Sorry for that deep breath. This chart is it's, it's so much easier to do it actually off of the uh, bond trade, but we're going to come in off of the swing point here from May 10th. I believe that was approximately where that was on the uh, bond trade. Let's go ahead and change the uh, color on that one as well for you. I believe that is number two. There we go. So what you'll also see at the 122.48 area is the 0.618 uh, retracement off of that last leg up. So TLT, uh, look for support at 122.40, and you'll want to be paying attention to the uh, volume there. What you will notice on the uh, TLT, you do have some volume uh, at the uh, highs. You don't really have volume off of the highs. You did have volume in there yesterday as it was moving down, but it does suggest to me, and it just correlates to everything else that I'm seeing in the market, we just have a nice bounce that's going on here. And it could be a bounce, quite frankly, folks, that lasts a little while. It could fact and last into the next P index date, which happens to be June eighteenth. Monday, June eighteenth, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Got the Dow up hundred and twenty seven points. S and P's up thirteen. Give me a call, folks. We'll be right back. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
You've heard Basil Chapman on the air hosting the Tiger Technician's Hour and always wondered what's behind his powerful Chapman wave. Well, Basil has just announced a one-day online master trader course where he'll explain his Chapman wave methodology in detail so that you can learn how to chart Basil's one-of-a-kind formation techniques in real time while the market is open. Not only do you get a full-day online master trader course with Basil during live market hours, but by signing up now, you also get a free month of his newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value, along with access to his Moving Averages webinar, another $99 value. This online course takes place Friday, June 8th, and will be archived so you can view it as many times as you like for 30 days following the course. Make sure you take advantage of this one-of-a-kind master trader course with Basil Chapman during live market hours by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and reserving your spot today. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. Catch Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. The Money Masters, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Got the Dow up 133, S&P's up 13, composite up 24, small caps up 8. Uh, let's see, percentage-wise, you got the Dow in the uh, lead. Uh, pop into the upside right now, Priceline, Apple, uh, Baidu, Khaki International, uh, Cummings, Inc., Franklin, Ben Franklin Resources. Uh, they are leading the charge dollar-wise on the way up. On the way down, you've got uh, Molina Healthcare, MOH, down uh, 7 bucks and change. That's off 28%. Uh, Navistar, NAV, they're down 23%. Men's Warehouse, down 15%. Lululemon, down uh, 8%. Uh, Centene Corp, CNC, they're down about uh, 12%. Uh, Titan Machinery, down uh, 13% uh, as well. Uh, and so just to go ahead and finish off the uh, TLT chart, take a look at the uh, TBT, TBT chart for those that are in it. And really, you do the exact same thing. You take a look, and just in reverse, you would go from the swing point high on March 19th when the TBT was up at the 2155 level. Uh, and you would go all the way down to low on June 1st when TBT got down to 1471. So the first area that TBT wants to get up to is 1732. If you take a look at the uh, swing points, uh, you know, I would say you're taking a look probably around May 1st. Uh, maybe you just look to April 25th just to find where you're going to find a 0.618 area or 786 coming together in the same spot. Again, I'll go ahead and darken this in. And what you're going to see also at that $17 and change area, you're going to see the point six one eight retracement. That is where you're going to most likely run into some uh, agitation. But you really got to trade these folks off of the underlying instrument. It would be like trying to trade UNG without having access to the natural gas contract. Don't do it. Uh, you know, if you if you can't. If you can't track what the underlying instrument is doing, what you're what you're doing is you're just it's just it, it just I don't know what the best way to to describe it is, but when you're trading these ETFs, uh, you know you and doesn't matter even if it's the Dow Diamonds that you're trading. In fact, that's probably the easiest of all of the uh, trades to put out there because if you just type in uh, Dow uh, weighting. Uh, it'll take you to a website that'll give you the weighting as of the uh, night before. So if you're trading the diamonds and you know, then go take a look at the uh, top 10 of uh, 30 stocks, you're going to have more than 50% of the weighting inside there. So you want to understand uh, what is going on inside the diamonds. If you're trading UNG, which is natural gas, it's not going to give you anything good with regard to information because UNG is not tick for tick with regard to the natural gas contract. So I get off my 
So, no, I really won't get off my soapbox. Don't trade the UNG unless you're taking a look at the natural gas contract. And make, make sure as you're trading either the TLT or the TBT, you're actually looking at the uh, bond itself. Uh, so uh, let's go uh, take a uh, look at... Uh, uh, let's go take a look at the currencies out there. We haven't really done anything about uh, taking a look at King Dollar here. Also, I didn't tell you who's coming up. You got uh, I'm going to be doing the Money Master show as well. Tom is going to be on his way back here from uh, Dallas, uh, Texas. Uh, he was out uh, doing a, a show yesterday with the folks from Nadex. So I'll be uh, I'll be running solo here during the uh, Money Master show. Then we go out to Santa Fe, New Mexico for Kate Stalter, uh, Larry Pesavento. Where in the world is Larry Pesavento? But he'll be with us from 12 to 1 today. 3 to 4 is uh, Ken Shreve and the Tom O'Brien show from 4 to 6 today. So stay tuned. If we take a look at the uh, King, King Dollar, uh, Basil will be filling in for Kate today. So we're going up to Newton, Massachusetts. That's a great thing. And I think... There is a game in Boston tonight. I think there's a game in Boston. How about that? So that should be pretty good. And uh, so let's go, if I can find the uh, King Dollar contract out here. Oh, where did it go? You know, I change these things around when I do Tom's show. So there we go. King Dollar. Here's the key, folks. King Dollar trying to get back inside the range. That price point, 8204. What's the trade at right now? 8204. If you're bullish, you want to see a close of King Dollar below 8204, folks. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned. I'll be up next. If not, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, folks. Take care.